Hello again, welcome back to my YouTube fitness series. In part nine today, I'll be discussing and exploding the myth surrounding should I exercise when I'm sick? I often get asked this question as a really important one because we're all on our inverted commas treadmill to fitness and the last thing we want to experience is a shortfall in our fitness and that shortfall can come in the form of an illness. Now what defines an illness? These are a multitude of things. The most important one is the one that floors you. The one that means you can't get out of bed, you've got a sore throat, your joints are aching, your muscles are aching, you can just about breathe because your nose is blocked up. That's an absolute no-no. You definitely shouldn't exercise. In the old days, people used to think, I'd go to the gym, sweat it out, get the bug out of my system. In fact, that was the worst thing you could actually do. Simply because when you're ill, your body's immune system is already suppressed. It's right down there. And by further putting pressure on your body, simply by exercising, that will drive your immune system even further down. So it makes it more difficult for your body to recover from an illness. There are some schools of thought though, that if you exercise when you're slightly ill, whereby you can move around, but you're still not feeling 100%, you may be feeling 60, 70%, you can still work out, but definitely not a high intensive workout. What you should try to aim to do is go to the gym or stay at home and do some gentle exercise. You definitely don't want to raise your heart rate up here. You don't want to be working out intensively. What you need to be doing is working at a low level, preferably or ideally some light stretches to maintain your suppleness and increase your suppleness. Also some light toning exercises in a form of light weights or resistance, some free body exercises and abs, that sort of thing. So treat those workouts as a relatively low key workout to keep your level of, or maintain your level of fitness at a reasonable level. But don't expect to push yourself to make gains during a period of illness. Now, if it's after major surgery or major illness, you want to take some time to get yourself back into exercise. What you don't want to try to achieve is to try to restart where you left off. You start at a lower level, gradually build your level of condition back up again, and then continue to work up in a graduated phase. So folks, I hope that's exploded that myth for you. The take home message for today is, if you're feeling rotten, you can just about get out of bed. Definitely don't do exercise. You can move around if you're not feeling too bad, light exercise. Hope you like this episode today. If you do, ensure that you like it with a thumbs up down below on YouTube. And I hope you've liked my previous postings on, um, on the website. So please ensure you look out for the next series and the next episode where I'll be exposing another fantastic exercise myth. Thank you very much, folks. Look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye for now.